Hi, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to create some job cost reports for those of you who like to keep track of which jobs are profitable and which ones are losing money. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the home page if you're not already there. And you can do that by simply clicking home. This is the home page here. Go into the toolbar and go into your reports menu. Okay. And there's a few reports that you can do. I'm going to start off with the profit and loss by job. So you'll go into your company and financials. And again, depending on the type of QuickBooks you have, whether premium, pro, contractor's edition, nonprofit edition, either way, this, this may look a little different, but the reports are pretty much the same. Go into your company and financial tab, and then go over to profit and loss by job. And here you can pick what time period or what dates you want to include. We're going to select we want it from this fiscal year to date, which basically means from the start of business this year to the current date that you're creating the report. And as you see here, we have the customer's jobs at the top. Now you will see some, some of the customer jobs have things like total for that customer. And that basically means that that customer has multiple jobs. So take for instance this Mike Ballack. He has two properties. So here's his properties individually and here's his properties together. How much money you're making on them. And this will keep going and show every single job that you have. And this will actually show you the income that you're making for these jobs, the expenses for these jobs, and your net income after all your revenue came in and your expenses came in. Now let's customize these a little bit. You can go into your columns and you can select, you know, whether you want it by customer job or do you want it by week or do you want it by month? It's completely up to you. Now you can come in here and say you want to sort by total. You can modify the report, which I've shown you how to do in a profit and loss statement in a previous tutorial. So if you want, you can reflect back to that. But this is where you would modify the report. And again, you can collapse. So that way you only see a summary and not the detail. Hit expand if you want to go back to the details. And again, this just shows you your income and your expenses for every job. Now let's just say that you want a report that just shows the profitability of a certain job. Go back to your report center. Go to jobs, time, and mileage. Hit job profitability summary. And again, this is going to show you the actual cost for your jobs and the actual revenue. And the actual revenue is the revenue you've actually collected. Not what you've estimated, not what you've billed out, but the money that's actually come in for these jobs. And again, here's your cost. You'll see that Mike Ballack at 330 Main Street, his cost of his job was $710 for 330 Main Street. We've made $1,567. So our net profit from that job is $857. So far that looks good. So we might want to keep that job around. And you might have jobs where you're only making $35 profit. Again, this is just a good report to show you where your revenue is versus what your cost is. And these are good for those people, again, who have businesses such as contractors that want to say, this job is costing me a lot of money and I've only brought in this amount of money. Either one or two things have happened. I haven't billed the customer so the revenue hasn't come in or the customer is not paying or I'm just exceeding my cost. And if you want to get more detail, like you want to know what made up the $710, you can double click on it and it'll tell you what made up that $710. And if you want to know exactly what one transaction is, Double click on that and it'll take you to the invoice and it'll show you what that transaction was. And that's a job profitability summary. 
Now, let's say that you want to do your job estimates versus the actuals of your job. Go to, again, go to Report Center, Job Time and Mileage, and then go to your job estimates versus actual reports. And I don't have any in here, but basically what this would show is all estimates that have come in or that you've created. And this is estimates cost. And then you have the actual cost. So you're going to have what you projected that you were going to spend versus the actual cost that you've spent. And then you have the estimated revenue and your actual revenue. This is how much you estimated you were going to make. This is what you've actually made. And then here's your difference between the two. And those are a few of the job cost reports that you can use to figure out where your business stands with certain jobs and whether the jobs are profitable or not. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please comment on our YouTube channel. Send us an email at demos at equalityfinancialservices.com. And remember to subscribe. And if you want to share this with any of your friends or bookkeepers or whoever you think would benefit from this information, please share our channel and come back to see us.